A ball is dropped from 24 feet in the air and bounces up to three-fourths of its original height. How many feet will the ball travel in total? So um, after the first bounce, the ball will have traveled 24, and then three-fourths of that is 18, so it will have uh, went down 24 feet and then up 18 and then down 18, which gives us a total of 60 after those bounces. So first I'm going to go ahead and give a little rough graph of it. So if we have like 24 up here, after the first bat, or it starts up here, it goes all the way down, and then it goes up to 18, and then it goes all the way down, and then it goes up some more, and goes down, da 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 da. We need to find out the sum of like the length of the lines. So I'm just going to draw a little chart of the, or a little um, sequence of the numbers. So we're going to have 24, then 18, because 24 times 3 fourths is 18, and then it's going to be 18 again. 18 times 3 fourths is 13.5, and then 13.5, and then it goes on and on and on. Now you might be wondering, well, how can I find this sum? And um, if you'll notice, this is sort of like two geometric um, sequences. One right over here, and one right over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the formula um, A over one minus R, that's the uh, geometric, um, that's the sum of an infinite geometric series. And I'm going to apply that to this one and to this one. So I'm going to say 24 over 1 minus 3 fourths plus 18 over 1 minus 3 fourths. Um, that is the solution. But uh, you could have also written it as this 18 going over and then this 18 going over. So you would have had two of those of 18 over 1 minus 3 fourths and then you would have also had this 24 left at the end. These two equivalent statements you could also write this in a bunch more ways either way it's all the same thing. Thank you much for watching and goodbye.